everyone, this is Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and I'm sharing two cards for day one of the Evelyn T. Designs June 2020 release. I've made separate videos for each card, so please click on the link below to watch the video for the first card. You can also find it on my YouTube channel under Video Listings. Evelyn is releasing eight new stamp sets this month, and they're all amazing. This card features the Floral Surprise stamp set. This gorgeous image fills and takes center stage on an A2 panel. I'll share all of the stamp sets in a full reveal video on Friday, so you'll see them all up close then. I'm stamping on a 4x5.5 panel of watercolor cardstock. I want to heat emboss this image with gold embossing powder, so I'm using Versamark Watermark ink to stamp the image. When I pour the gold embossing powder on the panel, I realize that I forgot to use my magic embossing bag before stamping. It's pretty hot and humid now, so I'll have some unwanted powder on the cardstock, not just on the ink. I take the panel and flick it over a garbage can to remove as much of the excess powder as I can. I also keep a brush on hand specifically for this purpose. I don't use this brush for anything else. I clean it up as much as I can before heat embossing. I love that the image leaves a space on the panel for the sentiment in the bottom right hand corner. Of course you can add a sentiment wherever you like, but I like stamping my sentiments directly on the panel as much as possible. I stamp the scripted birthday word first and heat emboss that. This time, I remember to use the embossing bag. Then I stamp the printed happiest above and repeat the process for the words to you below. Since this is a large image, I'm going to add water to the entire panel before coloring. This will help my watercolors move and blend more easily. I use a flat, wide brush for this. Now I'll put on some music and speed through this coloring process. Now my card is done. The surprise in the name of this set is, of course, the Hidden Kitty and Puppy. I love that they're both fairies. I colored their wings in weathered wood distressing, the same color I used as an outline for the entire image. I did it as a messy sky, so to speak, and I love the subtle abstract look of it since the image is so busy. All of the product links are listed below, and the new release stamps will be added this Friday, June 12th, so check back then. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to see more videos. As always, please visit my blog for details, photos, and a full supply list. Thanks so much for watching!